Good morning. Good morning. Um, today we are at the new place. Um, we've got to rotivate a huge amount of land. Our friend Martin's come over today to do that with his rotivator. Um, I've got six butternut squashes to go out there. Loads of leeks, loads of Brussels sprouts, loads of broccoli, a couple of watermelon plants. Um, so yeah, we're going to plough, well, rotivate a huge bit today to do that. Uh, and also, I've got lots of grapevines that need to come down. They're old now. And they're old now, so don't need them anymore. Plus, I want that framework for things to grow up, so I haven't got to keep rotivating a big, uh, massive amount of land. So here are where the grapevines are. I really took some down from here. These lines had grapevines on them, and they've been taken down. So this is what I need to do. From there, all the way up, there are three rows and you see weed trees have grown up all around so they need to come down and be dug out as well but yeah look here that's a donkey <laughs> um yeah so these are the grapevines they need to come out they're old and i don't want grapes i don't i don't like grapes um got some strawberry plants here. I didn't plant these, these are already here. Delicious. There's loads dotted about in here and throughout in there. So yeah, I'm gonna to to take all these down. Take some of these trees out, well all these trees out that have decided to grow up. And then weed. Keep it nice and uh fresh for plants. Rotivating's underway now. Uh, it's Martin and Sam down there. Sam's stump digging and Martin is rotivating. Looks really strenuous. That job. Should have just got a, a friend in to just do it with his tractor. Um, this is our well. And it is very deep down there. And there's a little fern there. Ooh, I can't keep them alive indoors, but it's thriving down there. Um, but yeah, we need to get a water pump, uh, a well pump now to be able to pump water to our crops down there. Um, otherwise, we have to run a hose from all the way up there, so that from that tap all the way down, and that cost us money. And probably won't do a great job and I'll be there watering for hours. See the view at the back over there. So, I have to get a, water, a well pump. But we can always make do until then. It's a lovely view. Countryside hills. In the winter you can see for, for so, uh, so far, but obviously here. It's summer now. It's spring, summer, so the trees are covering pretty much all the view. Here's the house. Here it goes. Oh, it's in. Rotivate a king. <laughs> One line half done. He'll go back over it many, many times because he's a perfectionist. Great job, his garden is pristine. Thank God for Martin. Lovely little poppy. Little poppy. You having fun? You having fun? Tractor tyres there, we're going to have to get rid of. They was in our uh, septic tank. We had to roll them all the way from up the top of the house. Some little outbuildings there. The one there. Up there, I'm going to have like a um, underground greenhouse. I'm going to build with the windows obviously facing south. So in the winter, hopefully, I'll be able to grow some stuff. I, I can grow stuff in a, a cold frame in winter here, like greens, lettuce, and coriander. But it just doesn't thrive. It slowly grows. So I want something a greenhouse. So it can thrive. OK, 
Okay, we'll have a little update for you. I've been doing the vines. As you can see, I've got rid of two uh, grape vines. It was all entangled in our cherry, cherry tree, so I had to get that out. The vines had embedded in the ground. Oh, it was a nightmare, but there's a pile. And uh, I've just done a little bit of weeding down here, exposing all the tomato, uh, strawberry plants. There's quite a few there, actually. So as I've been going through, I've been had a nice strawberry breakfast. Um, I cut down this weed tree that was coming up there. Uh, we're going to keep this little tree here, Robinia, I think it is. Get rid of all these weed trees. Uh, so yeah, that's how that's coming on so far. Not bad, not bad. At least I can see what's what now. This is the next one to come out. It looks worse than it is. A lot of it's sticky weed, so it's quite easy just to pull out. And I've uh, got damage. I don't know if you can see. Oh, well. I'll show you the uh, rotivated plot now. Okay, it's still going, but it's nearly done. Lovely, fresh. No, lots to plant. There's the weeds. <laughs> I thought you fell then. I panicked. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 I thought you fell then. Hot, isn't it? Pretty cool. Oh, it's a hard day. Yes. So I did a bit more. I got another vine out and more weeding and two more trees. I did quite a bit, it's getting hot now, so I have to call time on it, but come and look at the rotivated plot. It looks divine. I don't want to roll in it. But I don't want to mess up Martin's lines. Look at it. Whee! Here's the champion! <laughs> look at that. Look at that, that's a garden that is. Heaven. And I can't wait to plant in it. How's that? Oh, perfect. Right. Yep. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> I'll have a garden looking like yours in no I'm time. Only 80 lever day, <laughs> 20 for the machine, 100 lever day, and your garden could look like this. Exactly. Because <laughs> I know you're putting it on. Contact me. Contact me if you want Martin to come and motivate your garden. <laughs> 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 oh, it's looking brilliant. Hello. So it's the end of our well, first section of the, the day. It's quarter past 12 now, and it's getting really hot, so you have to stop working. Um, that's rotivated now. I've got leeks to go in there. Martin brought me a load of leeks. I've got leeks, broccoli, and Brussels sprouts to go in there. I'm not going to put my uh, butternut squashes and my melon in there now. I'm going to put them on the other side where the grapevines were so that I'm going to just train them up so I can still continue to weed that area and just train them up. And if the fruit gets too heavy, so if the melons get too heavy, I can just hammer make a hammock underneath and um, attach it to the framework that's already there then. That just gives that, that can be a, like a long term bed then for this, this season. Just stick the uh, veggies in there um, and leave them, water them, leave them. And uh, then I can just keep, keep weeding that area. But uh, we've still got a lot to do here. I've just uh, been into the barn and um, there's so many good things in there. I'm going to do a video uh, to show you what's, what stuff's in there because I don't think it's been looked at in there for, for well, about 10 years, I would say. Um, anyway, 
I'm gonna go, go home, get a bit of a rest before the afternoon session starts. I've got to um, fix the chicken coop at the other house. Because we've got chickens coming in a few weeks, well, about two weeks now. Anyway, I shall see you later. Oh, do you like my shirt by the way? Me uh, Club Tropicana vibes. Look at it. Bit bit uh, bright for what I usually wear, but I thought why not, why not? Right, see you later. Bye.